my way to work Wednesday, I was listening to the Tom Joy in the Morning show, and they were talking about the heartbeat bill. I had not heard of the heartbeat bill. So apparently in Georgia, the heartbeat bill had passed through their Senate, and that bill states that when a heartbeat, a fetal heartbeat, is discernible around the six or seven month, then there's no longer an option for an abortion. So once again, a Republican, conservative, probably highly religious, Bible-thumping state is trying to climb inside someone's uterus and, de and decide what's going on there. The truth of the matter is, a lot of women don't know that they're pregnant at six to seven weeks. They have no idea. They'll function over this, this myth that everybody gets pregnant within the third week, they're swooning like Scarlett O'Hara or, or vomiting their brains out. Every woman's body is not functioning the same in response to pregnancy. So you find out you're pregnant, you're six to a half weeks along, you can't even have the option of having an abortion in that state because somebody's trying to dictate what you do, trying to make you have a child that for various reasons you don't want to have. I think that's some bullshit. Yeah, you think it's some bullshit because you're a woman or because logically and neutrally you find it some bullshit? And logically and neutrally, I find it some bullshit. If dudes were the ones spewing life into the world, it wouldn't be cool to find out you're pregnant. Let's say you're 13. You're 13, you find out you're pregnant. You can't get an abortion because reasons. There's no reason other than the one they give from the Bible or some religious thing they've come up with to make people have children that they don't want to. And all it is is a punishment for females having sex. That's all it is. Females aren't supposed to have sex. They don't want you to have birth control. They don't want you to get abortion. So if you don't want to get pregnant, you shouldn't be having sex unless some Republican, conservative, Bible-thumping man sticks it in you. When I first heard of this, which was tonight, and you mentioned it passed and the heartbeat bill and that... Um, in Georgia. This is just in Georgia. In Georgia. Uh, part of the Bible South, the Bible Thump area, but uh, <clears throat> I was my first thought was like, look, you know, yeah, I mean it's the heartbeat. It's kind of like you know, an adult is you know life support. Heartbeat stop, they're dead, you know. So if the heartbeat is there, they're alive, let them go. But then, whew, excuse me. And then you get into cases like Terry Shivo, heartbeat, there's brain function. She's not waking up. They pulled the a plug, saying that basically, we don't want to take care of you in this hospital anymore. And although there was a small window of, let's transfer to another hospital, no other hospital wanted to take Terry Shivo. And the media was, it was all a buzz, and that taught me a lesson. No matter how crazy and brutal everyone gets up in arms about a topic, just give it about three weeks and then they don't care. It's on the lips of very few. And then in six months, it's gone. And it's only a memory and then used in, in debates and arguments. But no one ever does anything to use it to actually change anything other than get brownie points in their bubble. But I was thinking it was fair. Only because I was thinking in those terms of being alive and not being alive. Um... But then, you know, you look, I, I just want to, I'm going to say this. This is why atheists don't like religious people. Because everything is dictated through religion. It's a religious country, although it's secularly founded upon. But it's a religious ran country. It's a, it's religious. It doesn't matter if it's, right now the evangelicals got a hold of it. But before that, it won't them, it was the Christians. It's always gonna be a religious red country, and that sucks. So when you have religious people running the country through vote, through power, through indoctrination, through all of this other stuff, you get rules and laws and stuff like this in Georgia. You get laws like in North Carolina where it's illegal for the female to be on top during sexual intercourse. You get laws where it's, I, I, can't, I think it's Ohio or something, where you can't, the male cannot lead the kiss therefore because it's, yeah, the male can't lead the kiss, the female has to. 
because if the female leaves the kids, it shows that her surrender or some crap like that. You get stupid stuff. Also, no, in Ohio, it's illegal to uh, to do whaling to kill whales. Um, at least the whales are safe. Look, so they passed the bill, and the Republican governor is going to be all behind it, you know, to make it into law. Now, yeah, he's not he's he's not uh, suffering from this at all. So you know, you know, people and, and groups are going to bring lawsuits to take it to a federal judge to deem it unconstitutional. Here's the thing that I learned: that states have been trying to pass this heartbeat bill. For the past 10 years in various places around the country, it seems to have accelerated in the past two or three. I don't know why. Are abortions rampant? No, they're the lowest they've been since Roe v. Wade was passed. The lowest they've been. They're under a million. There are not lines of people, females, with their, 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 their partners lined up outside abortion clinics just eager to get their uterus scraped out. That shit's not happening. It's stupid. It's a stupid pursuit. Just another reason or, or way for them to try and control what's going on up in someone's snatch. But if they get someone pregnant, all of these Republicans with their mistresses, what are they going to send them bitches to do? Go get the uterus scraped. How about this? How about this? Let's, let's do this, all right? All right. <clears throat> and as a male, I think what should happen, let's, let's, let's try to pass this law. It'll make it even. It'll make it even. You got to get a vasectomy when you turn uh, 15. By law, you have to get a vasectomy. And once you have gained great financial standing, you understand everything about sex, you are able to take care of a family by yourself, a family of two, just because there's always usually the, you know two kids born then. Only then can you you know get a reverse uh, vasectomy. Can, only then can you get it reversed. You know that, Now, if that seems harsh, if you think that's stupid, all right, just think about how it is for a female to go to a party with a friend that they trust, get roofied or, or drugged by any means, and then find out they're pregnant and realize, hell no. And they say, we hear a heartbeat, sorry, got to keep it. What? Yep, got to keep it. You're bad. And that's it. You got to have the child that you don't want from someone that you have lost respect for that has raped you and it's worse when that child is born looking like the one that raped you just think about that cause call it fair you and know you'd be like oh single mother can't take care of her kid on public assistance oh you gotta take the kid because she was abusing it she's abusing because she's fucked in the head having the kid of her rapist that y'all wouldn't let her terminate and then the rapists can't go to prison because it's wrong to ruin their academic career over a few minutes of fun. Just just saying. And not to mention they do have this kid. And since she has to go on public assistance, you're going to fight tooth and nail to cut that because, you know, you don't want her feeding her kid off the government teat, the kid she didn't want to have. And so here's the thing. If she's forced to have the child, how about we do it this way? How about we make it that the guy must pay 100%? You know what? No, fuck that. No, let's 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 take it really extreme. Every female that must have the child, because now it's by law they gotta have the child. Cause they, you don't know you're pregnant until about the, about what three and a half months or four. So that's I mean that's six weeks. That's that's only half the duration to even know. So you're forced to have this child that you didn't even know about. I mean just imagine coming home and then someone says here's a child. And you're like, what? Yeah, yours. Prove it. Take it. They leave. Hey, you don't take care of this kid, I'll fucking kill you. And they got a gun, and it's like, we got you monitored. We will fucking shoot you in your head. You're going to take care of this kid. You'll be fucked up. You'll be like, this is just wrong. I don't even know you. Are you, what? Now she's got to go through the same thing. So let's make it so that those that voted for this in Congress, Senate, and anything, mayor, I don't give a damn. They got to front the bill out of their paycheck for every single female. So if it takes $400 a month to take care of a kid, they got to fire $400 per female they forced to have a kid that they didn't want to have. How about that? You know, and if they can't afford it, I guess they can get on some government assistance and grant programs to help them out. Because either way, it's going to be the taxpayers paying for it. Matter of fact, how about this? Let's just take, you know, about $500 billion from the military industrial complex. And we could put that so no one has to worry about anything. 
How about that? You, you can take 500 billion away and, and, and there's still 30% bloated, 33%, 33.5% bloated on money, you know? So it's still good, you know? This is what the lawmakers, for lack of a better term right now, fail to understand. Abortion. I don't like that terminology. That gives them too much of a fucking pass. I hate that. I hate when 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 TYT and Circular Talk do that when they say they don't understand. They don't know. No, they do know. They do understand. They just don't give a fuck. They're most likely getting paid to not give a fuck. And knowing that some gun laws have passed just because some congresswoman got two thousand dollars from the goddamn NRA, fuck that shit. They know. Well, women are not. Abortions are not party favors. It's not a consolation prize. It's not something that you check your schedule for. Oh, man, I got to call out of work today. I'm having my abortion. That's, that's not how it works. Any, just about any female, I would say any female that's got a fair amount of sanity who has decided to give an abortion probably wavers on that decision back and forth over and over again unless they're so dead set against not having children for whatever reason. It's not an easy decision. You know, it's a part of you. And then this, these these clinics making women listen to the heartbeat before they have the abortion or forcing them to have vaginal ultrasounds. That shit's not fun. That's not cool. But as it's, Senator it's just said, y'all don't give a shit. Whether it's because you get paid to not give a shit or because your fucking Bible tells you to not give a shit, even though I don't think there's anything in there about fucking abortion. Right, in the Bible? Yeah. Yes, it is. You give them bitter water. If the woman if the woman gets pregnant, you give them bitter water. It's, po <clears throat> it's poisonous. And if the woman dies, um, then that means she had cheated. But if she doesn't die, that means the, the, the baby and is yours. Uh, it was like that. Okay. They did a lot of other things to cause abortion and stuff. They stabbed a lot of women in the gut. They did a lot of that, and they gave them a lot of poison just because they didn't. The guys didn't want to get caught. You know, it was it was a lot in the Bible. You know, you get to hear this stuff, man. It's it's not cool. They don't care about these women. They don't care about the babies they care they care they carrying. And you know how I know they don't care because once they're born, they truly don't give a shit. They don't care. They don't care if they live or die. They don't care if they're fed. They don't care if they're healthy. If they did, they wouldn't keep trying to cut aid to women who are just trying to take care of their fucking children. Well, the reason they're cutting aid is because the women aren't taking care of their children. Yes, that argument was made, everybody. That argument was made. They was cutting funding to Planned Parenthood and stuff because it was helping women not take care of their children. That was part of the dumbass arguments that they gave out. And then saying they're giving a whole a whole lot of abortions when a lot of people of uh, that was against Planned Parenthood. Actually, Planned Parenthood was the reason why abortions were down mm -hmm. because they're educating and getting women access to birth <laughs> control. The other thing you all you motherfuckers don't like. What they're trying to do is turn the United States into the Philippines for women. That's what they're trying to do. Cedra educated me on that one. You know, the Philippines, they're Catholic. So in Manila, no one gets abortions. No one's on birth control. So you got women who are 30 with eight kids living in abject poverty in hovels with no sanitation and right next to the water that is a, a public bathroom and, and a garbage heap. And they have no say so. They can't get their tubes tied. They can't get on birth control. They can't do shit because it's a Catholic country. And I guess God likes them living in poverty. Ran by the U.S., controlled by the U.S., but not a state. Just think about that. Just think about it. The Philippines can say it's their own sovereign nation, but everything there is U.S. controlled. Just like our secular country that's religiously controlled from top to bottom. And that's just voters and, 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 and laws. You know, the dictators of the country, they don't, they, they, they control it. They, those are the ones, they don't care about abortion. They don't care about shit. But what deregulates them to make more money to screw everybody else. But down here with us, we got the religious zealot crazy motherfuckers. That's what we got. And what we got are people that says, I'm not voting for you if 
you are an atheist or you're not in my religious following. And if you're somebody that supports abortion or infidelity, if you have done it or you support it, you will not get my support. Where Trump has cheated on all of his women, he's had he's forced women to get multiple abortions. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he done he did the same thing. We all know about him. We know about a bunch of Republicans getting abortions for their mistresses. Just saying. It's a bunch of bullshit. They're liars. They're hypocrites. And this is one reason why it's so easy for any and everyone to believe in almost damn near any conspiracy theory because there's so many lies, so much mendacity that you can't help but to wonder what the hell is the truth. It's how the country is and it's not right and we can change it, we can fix it. And, and these rules like for Georgia, this heartbeat rule, it can be overturned. And most likely they'll be sued It'll go to a federal court and it'll be deemed unconstitutional. That seems to be what happens in a lot of these states that attempt this bullshit. Just say this. I was forced to do something I didn't want to do. That's rape. End of story. End of story. You know? And yes, you could probably apply that to a lot of other stuff too. It's like, look, they forcing me to not use my gun to murder somebody that I'm just a little bit mad at right now. I lost the space game and that fucker got to die. Okay? Now, that those are crazy people. Human logic can prevail if we let logic prevail. And that's just one of them. You got anything else, baby girl? No, I'm done. All right. This is Cedric and Cedric for Comparative Reasoning. It ain't what the law is, but why it is. Thank you for listening.